What is up guys, Roshan here. So whether electric scooters are rolling out into your city or not, you might be wondering how they work, how they get charged, whether they're safe, and if they are, in fact, any good. And I'm here to give you those answers. So grab your handlebars, don't forget to subscribe, and let's ride. Today we're going to be reviewing the electric scooter from the micromobility startup called Phoenix. If you've been living in UAE for a while, then you probably would have seen these electric scooters quietly descend upon your city. The concept of electric scooters is simple. Imagine a two-wheel kick scooter and now add an electric motor to it. That's pretty much it. There's three products in the Phoenix electric scooter mix and I tried two of them. Honestly, apart from the fact that they're different colors, I don't think there's any difference in them. I did get on a call with one of the customer executives at the Phoenix team to try and understand the hardware specs and here's what I was told. Top speed because of UAE government regulation is limited to 20 kilometers per hour. The range at a full charge is about 20 to 30 kilometers depending on how you use it and it takes about five to six hours to fully charge the swappable lithium ion battery that's neatly placed under the footboard. The scooters have a metallic body with sturdy handlebars that gives you quite a good grip and maneuverability supporting even the older age demographic. With regard to the braking system, they've got drum brakes for both the front and the rear wheel. They've even got a sanitization dispenser along with a bag and cup holder. That's quite thoughtful if you ask me. Okay, now let's talk about the software. So to use the scooter, you've got to first download the app from the Play Store or the App Store onto your phone. Since every scooter comes with a GPS tracker, you can use the map to locate a nearby scooter. Then you enter your credit card details, scan the barcode on the scooter to unlock it, and go for a ride. The software is pretty intuitive and user-friendly. Finally, when you're done, you park the scooter and end the ride on the app. The key innovation though I feel lies in the business model. When Segway launched in 2002, it rode a wave of hype and hope into the market, promising to revolutionize transportation. The problem though was it cost over $4,000 to get one and wasn't really a product for the masses. The rental scooter companies though, like Bird in the US, Yulu in India, and Phoenix now in UAE, insulate the rider from most of the cost of the device. The ride I took cost 3 dirhams for an unlock and then 1 dirham per minute. If I ride for 10 minutes and if you do the math on that, it'll cost me 13 dirhams and I have traveled 3 kilometers. Now the price is not ridiculously expensive, but it is pretty much the same fare as a cab ride in some cities in UAE. So I think they could adopt a variable pricing model as well, depending on the city that you take the ride at. And dear Phoenix, if you guys are watching this, please have a feature where you show a split up of the cost so that I don't have to get on a call with a customer executive to try and understand how I'm being charged for my ride. Now recently, Phoenix rolled out a new subscription based model where you can take a scooter for a month for just 100 dirhams. I haven't tried it out yet, but if I do, I'm definitely going to make another video about it. To sum up, electric scooters are definitely challenging the king of all transits, the car taxi, but getting citizens to adopt electric scooters is going to be a challenge. You're going to need city officials on your side, for which you'd have to submit proposals for comprehensive bike lanes, submit proposals for more designated parking zones to solve the first and the last mile problem. All of this hopefully will encourage citizens to take more electric scooter rides. If electric scooters do end up replacing the car taxi, then they could alleviate congestion and the net environmental benefits can be huge. Because even though electric vehicles today have a positive carbon footprint, the energy use of scooters is trivial compared to cars, buses and trains. And battery tech looks extremely promising. Energy storage systems since the early 2000s have become much more powerful and less expensive and I'm really curious to see what the future holds. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next. Peace. Stop!